Jesse Clinton, why is now a good time to use a covered call strategy? The S&P is only up 2% so far this year, so won't that cap my upside? It will. Uh, this year, in fact, uh, the index for the covered call or the buy right strategy is up double the S&P. So it's working very well. It works well in a choppy to potentially down market, and we think it's going to continue to work. Uh, it, serves, it gives a great income to investors, and a lot of our affluent families are looking for income, are looking for a steady type of investment, and this usually delivers that. So should I consider this a, a bond alternative, even though you're using stocks to run it? So it is certainly more risky than a bond. Uh, however, in this environment where bonds yields are, are minimal and we're thinking that rates are mo most likely going to move up, we have to be a little bit leery of going into bonds. And certainly the stock market, after a six-year bull run, we have to be a little bit leery there. So I think it's a good in-between, a good way to earn income, um, and certainly not for your whole portfolio. We're doing a lot of, we're backing into it by planning. We're covering the large cap value portion with the covered call, and we still have some upside, some growth strategy that would, would come along with it. So talk a little bit more about the way you run your covered call strategy at Snowden Lane Partners. Are you just using the large caps? What about small caps? How do you bring it into an overall asset allocation? So we are using our, our large cap value specifically for covered call because we want to we want to increase our dividend as much as possible and large cap value especially going into an interest rate increase environment usually outperforms so we'd like to get a little bit extra income from the large cap value and if we cap our upside uh, for that portion so be it and then finally how much trading is involved because a lot of investors say well there's a lot of transaction costs in this uh, and you know, they just don't want to pay it so uh, tell me about how costly the strategy is so we have a fee-based structure. So all trading, if we do a thousand trades or if we do ten trades, it's all the same price. So we charge a fee for our planning and our overall strategy and our implementation and that's all the investor pays. Is there any way that someone can replicate this uh, with, I know there's ETFs out there, there's mutual funds, so if, so if someone wanted to do it on their own, a cover call strategy, they can do it? So there are ETFs, there are mutual funds out there. Uh, we think that ours is unique because we're taking from a universe of two thousand individual equities and narrowing it down. And we're using high dividend paying equities. Uh, most wirehouses can only use equities that they have buy or neutral on, or, and that's in their coverage universe. So we think we have an advantage by using a larger universe, and so far, working well. All right, thanks a lot for coming on. Thanks for having me, Greg. And thank you for watching The Street.